Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, this is out of NASA, and this is the basics of space flight. A gravity assist primer. So this concept has proven fundamental to exploring our backyard, the solar system. And this concept can also be done on a bigger scale, exploring other people's backyards. And so what it does is it basically uses the gravity that exists between the planets and or a bigger object such as the sun itself in order to swing a ship and give it more speed going into outer space perhaps and so why are we looking at this well because we see here and this is out of the sun and there's other articles here as well uh, there's tons about this this is buzzing right now national geographic and scene that we're going to take a look um, the mysterious object is approaching from interstellar space. So this is, that's the space in between suns, because every star is a sun. And each sun, perhaps, in some cases, might harbor planets that actually have life. As we're discovering more and more, the chances of life out there are pretty good. And for some of us, we think it's just a, you know, an obvious thing. Well, we have this interstellar object approaching our solar system. And so this is really cool. There's some videos for you guys to get a good idea of where it's coming from, how it's coming in. It's, it's doing something very, very similar to what we had seen previously with Oumuamua. And in case you guys don't remember that one, we'll do a little refresher on that. So a mysterious object from deep space is fizzing towards the solar system. Scientists have no idea what it is. Dub C 2019Q4, the high-speed body appears to be on a path originating from another star system that will see it fire past Mars in October. That would make it only the second interstellar visitor ever known for sure to have reached the solar system. The first, a cigar-shaped object named Oumuamua, took the world by storm when it careened past Earth in 2017. A pair of Harvard scientists claimed it could be an alien spacecraft, sparking a frantic flurry of scans as the object closed in on the solar system. Experts found no signs of alien signals, and Oumuamua whizzed past Earth before its true origin could be determined. Now researchers at European Southern Observatory in Germany say that an object once thought to have been from the solar system may actually be an interstellar traveler. C-2019 Q4 was spotted on August 30th by amateur Ukrainian astronomer Gennady Borisov, and scientists have studied it ever since. It's so exciting. We're basically looking away from all our other projects right now. So says Dr. Oliver Hainaut, a astronomer with ESO. And he was also part of the team that studied Oumuamua during its brief visit. The main difference between the two is we got a long, long time in advance with this one. So they're going to be able to study it better. And they are much more prepared as well. Very curious, too, that cigar-shaped UFOs, just like what we uh, see with Oumuamua that came by, are something that have been spotted and seen for many, many years. It's one of the more common shapes, believe it or not, as far as UFOs go. Of course, the saucer, the saucer and then the uh, triangle-shaped ones we see a lot as well. And many of the triangles, if not all, might be just secret uh, military projects. And then the saucers we have, you know, discovered were connected with the Nazis and uh, all the projects going on in Antarctica. Not to say they couldn't have predated and there couldn't be other uh, other beings that use that, uh, as supposedly the Nazis were given the technology in the first place from different extraterrestrials. So early images of C-2019 Q4 suggest it's followed by a tail of dust. Now that's usually what happens when you see a comet. So they can't say for sure that this is or isn't a comet yet. It, what's known is that it's definitely um, unusual. And so if the object is indeed interstellar, scientists should be able to study it until early 2021, where it'll grow too dim to see. 
that means we'll have way more time to study it than what we had with the previous one, which was only visible for a few weeks before it disappeared into deep space, never to be seen again. So back in January, a harbor chief claimed Uamuamua could be an alien spacecraft that broke down on its interstellar journey. And that might explain why we didn't see any signals coming out of it. Maybe nobody was there. Maybe it was a probe. So interesting. Really, I mean, the shape of that one was certainly interesting. And then the technique, because this technique of going and circling around the sun, this is a basic of space flight. And using the gravity to boost, you know, the trajectory, that is exactly what you would expect to see. It is exactly. Now, of course, the mainstream, they're always going to put it down. That it's just, you know, anything but perhaps ETs. And so, you know, as we see so many things going on that many people take to be slow disclosure uh, as we're discussing more and more discoveries every day of Earth-like planets. Yes, yes, yes. So many planets in the Goldilocks zone. The likelihood of there being life out there increasing all the time. And many of us believe that life has always been there and it's always been here as well. And you know, there's just a, a wealth of evidence when we look into the past of interactions between most definitely intelligent beings. Now, whether they're all uh, from previous civilizations that were here and perhaps, you know, terrestrial or maybe they originated from Nibiru, as some of the um, some people believe from the Sumerian uh, cuneiform writings of which there are hundreds of thousands and we're still getting more all the time so this is an animation and uh, there's also a little animation here see this thing's bopping in from above and it's coming at such a different angle just kind of like what Uamuamua did that it's most definitely not anything from this solar system and this is more uh, out of National Geographic talking about it. And so when we see it, it's going to make its closest approach to the sun on December 7th. And it's going to come closest to Earth within 180 million miles on December 23rd. I mean, 29th. Sorry, guys. So basically, um, it's going to still be basically almost three times the distance from the earth to the sun that's how close it's going to get to us so it's not going to be too close to us relatively absolutely no danger of it colliding with us unless it decides to change path because it's being controlled perhaps but not likely so when we look at this this is really interesting to see and of course you know being a nostradamus fan as well going back to childhood I always think about the famous quatrains and the one that talks about when the comet shall run. And so the, there's so many quatrains that are tied in to when the comet shall run. And I always kind of look for that. And when you see things happening in the world and uh, there's no comet around, I feel like, well, we've still got time. But when there is a comet around, then it makes it feel like, okay, so maybe we're heading into some of the famous time frames for those quatrains so they're going to be able to observe this thing for a year so this thing's going to be in our news for a long time and uh it, it makes it really interesting and so this gets into the eccentricity of the orbit so it's at, its orbit is highly unusual most high, most definitely highly unusual and it's it's most definitely an object that is not solar for sure so again is it intelligently guided and so this is an older article about Uamuamua when it first came in and and this is one again that talks about the Harvard astronomer that believed that this very likely could be alien in origin and being controlled and so we've seen some you know really intelligent people in the know understanding how things work throwing it out there that this thing was behaving as if it was intelligently guided, perhaps an interstellar probe. And so, you know, that's pretty big. That is pretty big. And so this is really interesting. And then, of course, you have the mainstream come out 
And here you see, this is from July 1st this year, no aliens needed. Ah, properties of the first known interstellar visitor can be natural. And of course, they, they try to come up with whatever they can to lower the expectations that this is something that is intelligently guided. And so the debate on Oumuamua's nature and origin continues, even though it's no longer with us. It came in and it did exactly what it says here at NASA, you know, about the basics of space flight and using a gravity assist primer to fling itself out into space to gather more energy to travel faster and slingshot itself out. Exactly textbooked, very much textbook. So, you know, and he had a pair of scientists that suggested this could be an alien spacecraft. So, you know, the thought to me that, you know, some people have that they don't think there's anything out there but life on Earth. And uh, that just boggles my mind, most definitely. Uh, it, it just doesn't seem plausible with the size of this. And then, you know, of course, we go into the theories of um, it being a holographic universe, and it's all an illusion anyway. And that takes us into a totally different place. So very interesting stuff. We have a visitor, most definitely. We're going to keep an eye on this visitor as it comes plunging in towards us and then slingshots away. And we will be hearing about this visitor for a long time. So very fascinating stuff. Get you wondering, is, is this the one that Nostradamus was talking about? Hmm, because there's a lot of interesting things that happen in that time frame. So, my friends, as always, I look forward to your comments. I want to thank you for being uh, subscribers here on YouTube, and I want to thank those that have come over and, and joined us on Patreon as well. So for as little as a dollar a month, you can be part of the EEA family over there as well and get some unique videos that come up over there. And I want to thank you for your support. Let's hear your thoughts on what we're watching and what we're really seeing here. As always, my friends, God bless and namaste.